you. You know, I don't even know your name. How do you expect me to live in my house with a total stranger? Yeah. I love you. I, I really do love you. But I don't know if you love me back. Why do you ask? I mean, I, I asked, but you never responded. And uh, moreover, you've, you've never told me you love me. <laughs> does that really mean you care? Of course, it's, 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 it does mean a whole lot of things. I mean, it's the only way it can reassure us. I mean, you and I, that we're still in love. Listen, love is, is too strong to be talked about. Yes! It's too strong to be talked about. No, 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 no. I do not believe that's what love is all about. I mean, love is something those that believe in say easily. I mean, it's something you nurture, you love, you care about, you prefer, you just cherish, you strengthen, you believe in, and you know, make it all happen and it will work so good. Can you please stop? Stop all this, you love lecture. Listen, I feel different about all this. Yes! Love is a thing of confidence. And I believe when the going is good, then you, the love flows. No, 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 no. No, because I do not believe in such school of thought. My mental understanding Oh. Of love is is, is like this oh, is like something on. growing into. Listen, will you please stop? Listen, dog. Love for me is a thing too strong to be talked about. <laughs> with a nice smell, huh? That's good. Nice, nice, beautiful. And then also, um, and I need um, an engagement ring, beautiful one. You know, you know why I need it. Shall I tell you why? Yeah. Today she just said I do to me. She said yes, <laughs> but she lost me. And you know that. But that will cost you much. No problem, Sally. Let me have it. She's wanted. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Uh -huh. Is this, wow, 
this is beautiful. Very fine. Very fine. Ah. Nice. Just perfect. This must be very expensive. <laughs> I'm sure you got it from Dubai or somewhere. Okay. I don't know. Good, good, good. Um, let me just pay you because I've got a rush. Then, uh, just make calculate how much is it? That's much. It's quite much. Okay, there you go. Items. Oh. Is that okay? No. Great, great, great. Uh... Let me get you. No, 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 no. I don't need a bag. I'm fine. I'm fine, huh? <laughs> I'm rushing. <laughs> um, you have water? Yeah. Kind of choking. <laughs> okay, how much is it? 100 naira. Oh, okay. Roots, please come and get water for me. Okay. What's your name again? Mary Jane. Mary Jane.
My princess, we are actually very happy with you. The little time you spent with us has added more years to our life. And sometimes I start to wonder whether I still the same princess Mabel. No, my king, it is Dr. Mabel. You know, she left this palace as a princess but came back as a doctor. We're very happy with you, my dear. May the Lord God protect you and bless you. Amen. 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 Daddy, I have to run along, okay? I'll wish you so long. I'll call you as soon as I get home, okay? That's right. Take care. Bye. Bye. I love you. Okay. Bye. I regret everything. It was so fast. I lost my conscience. Conscience? That's if you have one. Regret? There is absolutely nothing to regret here. Worry. Stop bothering your little head. Listen, I should be the one shaving. I should be Austin is my friend. Right? You don't know what it means to betray your friend, do you? Baby, I understand everything you said. Okay, I do. It's just that there's nothing we could do about it. Your husband is dead. I'm sorry. And I left you with the kid. You're still very young and I can make this work for us. I love you. I love your kid. You rock my love, baby. Say. I want you to marry me. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Um, Austin, what's up? I'm on. Um, hi. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So, sorry. So, why are you going to dress up like this? Oh, man, you know, one can be just eat in the same bag. I want to go to the gym, and I, I can suggest you go to the gym. Not to yeah, go yeah, I know your one pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, um, yeah.
And who will be sending a delivery in a trash night? I don't know. I don't just know. What are you doing? You will mess up this business. What is this? You see what you've done. You see, you, you see what you've done. Would you get out of this? I'm 
you take your point? Huh? And if I don't, I said hit you. I will slap you. I will hit you and I will hit you hard. Live up to what you are, so that when you get a second chance, you won't mess it up. Here is your ring. I haven't even won it yet. I guess you'll love it. Bye, Josh. Keep on! Stop! Mr. James, I guess. Yeah, I'm James. Right, I'm Austin. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Austin. I, oh, well, um, well, I came in respect of your advice regarding the River Valley Estate. I'm <laughs> here, you know, to discuss further how to get one part of that is. Okay, let me show you the kind of process we have.
I've missed you too. I've been really busy. But I'm not so happy with you. Nurse has complained you're not eating. Since yesterday, then you make me feel like a bad doctor. Like I'm not treating you right because your medicines are not going to work properly if you don't eat. No, they are not. So, I can send you food? Anything. Alright. What you will need? Anything. Nurse is bringing you for the game. Make sure you eat it. That would make me happy. So, yeah. Come back. Come on, my pass. Alright. I'll see you over. suggesting to take my patient off the machine? Do you want her to die? How do you think that's going to reflect on us, the hospital? We're here to save lives, not to kill people with our own hands. But okay, I also want to save lives too, okay? Let's do this together. I have checked on your patient. I've checked everything that needs to be checked on. She will be okay. If I took the machine with her for a few minutes, believe me. Dr. Ken, of course. We're here to save life. But that woman has been on the machine for more than three months. And she's not showing any visible sign of incorporation. While this girl is begging to be on the machine for just a few hours. But the Mabel has just said that if she is taking off that machine for some hours, she will still survive. So why not give her the chance and then go check the patient out? Please. like a murderer. Don't you feel any responsibility? I don't get you. Are you doing all of this to get some kind of attention? Or this is you being professional? Dr. Ken, I just have you know that I am professional. First of all, I take my job seriously because I love it. And my priority is to save lives and I will do it with every equipment at my reach. I place your patient on this oxygen mask. So if I thought that if I took it away from her and her life would have been in danger, I would lose. And you know why? Because I love my patient and I know my job. And I would listen. Do you understand me? Look, you have been in this hospital. I've got a fortune of what we have, a fortune of what we have. And this is a freaking corridor for your best house. See, 
what we have in these uh, buildings are two bedroom apartments. Okay. okay, but we have other vacant houses in this estate. Okay. They are four bedrooms and a parlor. Okay. Wow. Yes, but they are rather too costly. It will cost you two million naira per year with agent and agreement fee. <laughs> That's rather too expensive for me. I, I'm just, I'm just looking for a place, um, a very comfortable and at the same time cozy for you know, um, for like a monthly, monthly basis stuff. You know, that's just it. Oh, you want a well-furnished apartment where you can pay for a monthly yes, basis yes, thing? Yes, yes, okay, you have to go back to the office tomorrow. Okay, I will go back to the office now and check for the houses that are expired. Okay, but it will no longer be a. On this estate. Well, really? Yes. Where will it be? It will be out there, Bolivar. Bolivar. I just, I just hope the environment is as clean as well. Really? Yeah. So, okay.
okay? No, no. Is he, is he trying to jump? Please let me call Dr. Mabel. What do you mean call Dr. Mabel? Is she a psychiatrist? This man needs immediate help.
but let me treat him. For some reason, he can't respond to your treatment. Okay? Just let me take it up from here. I promise you, you'll be fine. Look, if you insist on treating this man, you might put the whole hospital in danger and everyone in this world right now because he has a tendency of getting really violent. Please, let me do this. It's nothing, okay? Dr. Ken is a good man. He's trying to treat you. Okay? That injection is supposed to make you sleep because you have been tired for three days and I'm very restless. So I'll give you five minutes. Relax. Is it because of Kate? Huh? I thought you told me you were not happy with the trouble in the bar. Look, that girl is just a name for me. Looking for the next guy to jump into bed. Hey, 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 hey. Someone that I've talked to, do not talk about her like that. Please. Please. Master, look at you. You're a liar. I thought you said you were not heartbroken. It, 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 it didn't mean anything to you. Look at what you're doing. You're drinking like a fish. You're messing up. Hey. Hey, man. It's all right. Cool. Um, leave it. Leave it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, wait, no, no, wait, no. wait, wait, Let's wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go. You're disrespecting me. Hey, no, no, no. no. This is not disrespecting me. Take this and yeah, I drive over. I know you can. Okay? Yeah, you but, get. But right now, we have this. Um, this to me is like we have to move to the go next go, joint, let's go, right? Let's go. What about uh, Bowman? I think our bill is clear, right? Yeah, sure. The bill? No, you can't talk about. Let me ask you a question. Wait, wait. Summertime, summertime. Wait, wait. Um, do you think I like you guys like I like Austin? Austin. 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 Come on, come on, boy. Did come on, please? summertime. Let's go. Summertime. It's summertime. No, yeah. 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 What is going on here? What is wrong with you? Why are you drinking a 
smoke in the scary hours of the day. Wait a minute. Where is Austin? Or has he gone for another vacation? Are you here to see me? Or Austin? Oh, no. I was just wondering his way about God's Kate. If Austin was around, you can't be drinking and smoking like this. Oh, shit. Kidding me? Come on, baby girl. Grow up! Listen. There is no such thing as love. Get that into your little skull. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! I love it. It's not what I mean. Sweetie, Austin loved you. He did. He was going to marry you, I am sure. Who? You! Yeah. Been at their mercy, they can't let me more of times. I'm either begging or crying after them. Yes. Do you think I don't know what I was doing when I put up this apartment? But you know when you don't even want to give any of them a chance to walk out. It was a successful operation. The patient lost so much blood, but I tried to regulate him and the operation was really good. So the nurses are cleaning him up and as soon as they're done with that, they will transfer him to intensive care. 
Dr. Ken, please, how's your patient? Oh, same. She's still lying there in bed, struggling with her breath. You don't need to worry. I made sure she was going to be okay. She's, she'll be fine. And I'm sorry for what happened earlier. It's okay. Um, Dr. Mabel, your exceptional selfless dedication to duty has been noticed by the hospital management. And as a result of that, you have now been promoted to the position of a senior medical officer. So you will now be in charge of our hospital on the island. Wow! Oh my God! Thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, but I, no, 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 I have, I have a patient to say. You are really so hard. You have been on duty for the past twenty-four hours stretch without a break. Why not take my advice here and then go home and take a rest? Just in the right frame of mind for that anymore. I don't get you. A man is taking you out for shopping for the first time and you're turning it down all because of Austin. Yes, and don't forget that I met that same man through Austin. Babes, be reasonable for once. He asked me to invite you and Austin over. Um, Maybe you could just cook up a story like, you know, the story of, uh, as for why he's not coming. And what if he calls? Well, <sighs> that will be his funeral because I don't care. Kings, tell me the truth. What really happened? with Joshua, Austin's friend? <sighs> Kate, why? Why, Kate, why? Man. <sighs> Men don't deserve me. They are not... Thank you. 
No, I, I don't do drills. She knows what I do. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? After you, I'm going to take your girl's clothes back in. We're going to get this done right. You know what? Let's begin the event. Kate! Kate! You know you can have my. You know I don't do more of chicken. Oh, yeah. I remember. No? No? No, yeah, I remember. She doesn't eat it. I have this. Come on. I love it too.
person. I understand you will like Kate. But you can't remain as being that for the rest of your life. So, we'll talk about this later, okay? But as of now, we have to go back for you. Two bedrooms, a kitchen, a sitting room, two toilets and bathroom. Okay. Yeah, the house is fully loaded with uh, household equipment. Well furnished, 
Oh, okay, great. The flats are all occupied except one. Except one, yeah. Uh, that is a water tank over there. Nice, good. <laughs> you also have like a banana, <laughs> is it? A yeah, yeah, that's, that's the it. banana. <laughs> you see, we call the house our uh, Balvade house. Wow, wow, nice, nice. Yes, we rent it out on a monthly basis. Okay. Um, I just hope you like it. No, I love it. I love those segmented into <laughs> bits and pieces, you know, attached to it. <laughs> All right, let's go and see. Uh, so, uh, oh, okay, great. Oh, okay. This is the apartment. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, the door there. You can see the door. It leads to the kitchen, toilets, and bathroom. Okay. Yeah. This one over here leads to the bedrooms. I I hope you like the place. Uh, I'm here. Oh. You've got a television here. Wow. I, I love I love everything. I must say. I mean, the ACs, the the, the curtains, and you know, the chandeliers, everything is beautiful. It's nice, I really like it. And oh wow, <laughs> look at the flower. I, like, <laughs> I love this flower, it's just so nice. Wow. Okay. I'm glad you like the place. So you've got some documents to sign to show that you've accepted the place. And let I come to the office. Huh? Wow. <laughs> James, look at this. <laughs> it's five. Nice. Okay. I need to sign some uh, documents. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. And uh, yeah, you have to sign here and let uh, you sign. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, your your charges are really high, James. <laughs> but if I don't like it, <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Well, um, there you go. Okay. This is beautiful. I love beautiful pieces. So I can uh, move it like now? Not yet. Until you must have come to make your payment. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yes. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. So, where are you from, James? I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. From the look of things, it's obvious he hasn't been here yet. Can't you think of any other place he could be in? Austin is new in this town. And Joshua and um, Henry are the only people I've known him with. Obviously, he can't go back to Josh. So, uh, what do we do now? The only thing I have to do now is to go home and rest. Yes. If faith could not bring us together, then we'll hold on to each other someday. Babes, so you're resigning to faith already? <laughs> Come on, I'm going home to stay. Are you going home?
holding my bottle of champagne. I should be the one asking. How did you get in here? Huh? This is my house. I just I just rented it. So how did you how did you get into this house? You cannot ask me questions in my own house, okay? I know you came here to steal, but seriously, there's nothing in this house for you to take. Just leave the bottle of champagne or I'll call the cops. <sighs> <laughs> You know what? When you're done with your ranting and anything and everything you have to say, yada yada yada, you can leave this house right now. You know what? I think you're taking my leniency for granted. So what I'll do is call the cops on you. You know, automatically. Life is true, life is blue, but you know sometimes you rule and sometimes
you. You know, I don't even know you. How do you expect me to live in my house with a total stranger? You. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're freaking me out. No, it's not true. What are you doing here? That's not a question for you to ask, because this is my house. God. No, I'm hallucinating. <laughs> Take a good look around you. Look at the bed sheet you're lying on. It's pink. It's my favorite color. And I bought it. Stop talking. You stop it! Please, please, you're freaking me out. Don't even do this. I'm, I'm just hallucinating. Just look at the pillow. I have a blood stain on it. One of them. Blood? Yeah, blood. I blood. was trying to follow my fingers and I hurt myself. What? What? Just check the pillows. Which one? Which one? That one. Look, all I want is for you to listen to me and help me. No, no, whatever you have to do, stop me, leave me alone. Just listen. No, I'm just not listening. Okay, just gonna go back to bed. Anything to do with a woman in my life. I don't want anything Please. to do with you too. Just help me. That's all I'm asking. You are. Look at you. You sound like someone who is heartbroken. Look, I tell him the truth, and I can help you. What truth? She dumped you. Say it. It's not shaming that. Please. I, I do not want to talk about this. Ah, oh, I see. That's the reason you've been drinking like a fool. Come on. It's not worth it. I mean, if you love her and she doesn't love you back, that's fine. Wait for real love to come. Okay? You 
you are such a handsome man. Hmm. I took a sneak peek while you were having a shower. <laughs> you did? Oh, well, how, could you, how could you do such a thing? Why? <sighs> okay. Um, by the way, did you say you can tell me if I am someone who will love you? Yeah. 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 Are you willing to help me? Well, why, why me? Why, why can't you get someone else? I don't know. For some reason, you can hear me and you can see me. I didn't choose you. No. That's what I'm talking about. Why just still me? Look, it's a promise. I'll find true love for you. Just help me out. Hi, good day. I'm here to talk about uh, Mabel Francis. Gosh. Listen, I don't want my friends to find out that I had anything to do with her. Okay? Just go. Hey, 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 for him to really act that way. Why can't you just listen? I'm not a hooker. I do not know that man, okay? Well, you can tell that to the birds. So can we now just go in your quest? In the search of your quest? Now listen, you are the only person that is mad here, I'm okay. <laughs> Why? Why? Because Why? they can't see me. Babes, it's Nana Austin. Austin? That's your Austin, yeah.
man in the house. Oh, <laughs> Austin the <and> Casey. <laughs> summer, summer, summer time. <laughs> summer time in the city. How you doing, man? I'm all right, summer time. What's happening? I'm you know, there are a few glasses. Like, oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Are you serious? Come on. This game is a glass. Why have you said something? <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy the train. Uh, Austin. Austin. Please don't drink. Hey. Just don't stop the drink. Austin. No, no. What? What's wrong? Austin. 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 The point. You okay? Austin. Jesus. What's wrong with this? So what are we going to do now? I'm pleading with you. So please, calm down. Help me. That's not about calming down. It's, it's not about helping you. It's about me here. I'm a human being. You're a spirit. And spirit do not mingle with human beings. We, we both operate on different wavelengths. Please, just leave me alone. Just go your way. I beg of you. The embarrassment is so much, and I cannot take it anymore. Anything wrong to you? You mind you, you know. Dick, you're not afraid of the the Bible. Why should I be? It's a very good book. I I thought spirits are afraid of the Bible. That is a cemetery. You're a boy. Your entire resting place. It's like, hey, so I brought you here. Your kinds are there. Oh, okay. I didn't explain to you. I'm a human being. You are a spirit, you see. I'm a human being. 
So why don't you allow this human being to go out there and mingle with other human beings instead of making people crazy? Um, okay, you know what? Rest in peace. Oh, let me say loud so you're kind. Don't hear me. Why? Why don't you come here more often? Rather than go to scary places like cemeteries. What? I never even knew you were a Christian. This is good. Why are you not afraid of the church? And you're afraid of the cemetery? I'm a Christian. I love God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let's go pray. God the Father, God the Son. Hey, what is wrong with you people? Eh? How the hell will you rent an apartment that belongs to a ghost to me? Eh? I keep seeing ghosts that appears and reappears in my house. What sort of a thing is this? Eh? Why are you endangering my life into this situation? Sorry, do not understand. You do not understand what? Who is Mabel Francis? Who is Mabel Fra the, the occupant of buying the place before I got it? Now let me tell you something. If anything happens to my life, and right now, as I step out of this place, I'm going to be eating the next two points regarding this situation. Sir, he, he chose me that right now. He wasn't doing that house. Hey! I'm 
Okay. Are you afraid you remember you as a slut? She has not been here to collect her clothes because she usually comes here to drop her clothes while going to work and comes here to pick them in times when coming back from work. Oh, yeah, uh, I work. Well, uh, uh you, you, you're actually right about that. I mean, she, she's been out of town for a while, but um, we will help we will sort that out. Well, I'm sorry, her clothes have been taken to a warehouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's a policy. Alright, you decide to come back on Wednesday in three days, which is Wednesday anyways. Well, you come back in two days' time, so that we'll bring them here to the office and I'll sort things out. That's alright. That's alright. Thank you. And it's now you know I'm not a slut, right? I work. Now that's not enough reason to prove that you're not what people said you are. Oh, come to think about that, uh, where have you been all these three months? I don't know. Why don't you just add it to the list of things that you need to find out?
But you know they really? cannot hear you. They, they wanted to talk to them. She needs air. Um, hey, 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 hey. Oh, Everybody oh, just, just leave her. No. If not, she will stop, okay? Yeah. Um, please, please. Yeah. Um, what do I do next? I'm supposed to tell you. Are you not a doctor? Ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, put them. Oh, put them. That way. That, that, that's good. Why haven't you told me? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. It's not working. Hey, 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 no. Just, just, um. Okay, open up your mouth. Yes. Open up your mouth. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Close her nose. And push your mouth on her mouth and breathe it. She expect me to do this. She's not my girlfriend. I'm not going to kiss her. You're just giving her artificial respiratory support. Oh. Kissing. Give it to her again. Just that, that, that. Okay. One, two, three, another one. One, 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 you see if they're like, no, come on. We do this all the time. <laughs> Problem is alright, I do that. No, no, no. no. I'll do that now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just, just, just take her. I'll, I'll be back. I'll meet you. Thank you. Oh my god. It's sort of like a, it's finished. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Now. Hello, how are you? Oh. You look good. Thank you. I'm here to uh, see uh, my little Francis. Francis. Just come What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Just listen to me. That's all I'm asking. Stop it. You're getting me all confused. What? <laughs> yeah, so, sorry. sorry no. um, may I know whom you are? Oh, um, um, uh, Austin Christopher. Yeah. Are you... Related. Um, Tell her you're my, you're my boyfriend. Just say it! Say you're my oh, boyfriend! Well, oh, don't you just say it? Get me on my girl. I... It, yeah, everything is fine. I mean, I, I'm her boyfriend. Look, you are making yourself look stupid because she can't see me. Stop talking to me! Okay. Don't get distracted! I'm sorry. Dr. Mabel doesn't have anybody who visits her with that name. Moreover, I don't think she has a voice. Just, no, just, just tell them I have a secret life, okay? Aside from the hospital life, I have a life. So, of course, you know she's gonna keep that away from you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. I don't think so. You see, Doctor Mabel spends most of her lifetime in the hospital, and her closest friends are her patients. I'm surprised. As her boyfriend, how come you're not aware that Dr. Mabel has been in coma for more than eight weeks now? What? Stop talking. Why did you let me just sit? Um, just... Um, you mean coma? She's in the private ward. Or 
Just step out the door. Um, this way? She's still alive? No, doctor, please. You, she needs to stay alive. Just, just let her. Doctor, please, doctor. Why is it, Johnny? Doctor. flowers a lot. You make me happy. Can you do me a favor? What? Could you send me some flowers when my body and my soul has been unified? As a friend? Well, I, why not? I can. Why not? Sure. I mean, you've, you've restored this, this love and confidence that I'd actually lost for a while now. And I, I think I'm gradually liking the energy I'm, I'm liking what is happening so it doesn't mean that you are in love with me <laughs> to know now you're making me so shy i don't want to yeah. see you <laughs> so shy. well oh um. <laughs> There's really nothing more we can do for her at this point than to respect her wish. She was highly against leaving a patient in this state for so long. She considered it unnecessary suffering for the patient. I'm sorry, but you just have to come and sign the papers so that we can... Pamela! You're not now. Doctor, she's the only sister that I've got. <laughs> Let me go home. Think about it. You know, come back for the papers. <laughs> you know, come back for the papers. to go and sign the papers so that I could be released from the oxygen max. Please, if she does that, I will die. Please. I need you to go over to her house right now. Please, you have to hurry up. Please, Austin. I need you now. Please.
She, um, Mabel is... Tell her I'm here with you. Um, she, she said I should tell you that um, she's here with me. Stop that. I hope you're not here to make mockery of us. Move back. Move backwards. Please. Show us some respect. She's gonna have you move backwards. No, it's just um, what uh, okay. say. Tell her not to sign those papers. Don't you lie now? Just say it. Um, Pamela, she, she just said I should tell you that you shouldn't please sign those papers. That she's still alive. Please. The hospital papers. How would I believe you? Go back. She's gonna hit you. Go back. Tell her. You Tell her you know that Henry kissed her on the eve of her wedding. Why would you want me to say such a thing? Just, just stop it. Just say it. Sorry, um, she said uh, I should tell you that she knows that Henry kissed you on at the eve of your wedding. Sorry? Leave. Right now. Okay. Hold on, hold. Just hold me. Leave! What have I done? Am I all right? Did he just say he came here with my sister? Maybe I was the only one who knew about what happened between me and Harry on our wedding eve. Maybe I should have listened to him. Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> what have I done? I, I want to see the king. I have a message from his daughter, uh, Mabel. Did I hear you say Mabel? Oh, Princess Mabel. Um, Please address her properly. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Princess Mabel.
project we start from now. Think of all the steps this is getting to make. Try to bring us productions. A young man is here to see you. He said his name is Austin. That he has a message for you. From Princess Marvel. From Marvel? Who could that be? Let him in. Long live the, the king, may you live forever. The queen too. Um, long live the queen, may you live forever. Uh, you can have a seat, young man. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I, I'll be headed back to the city immediately. I just have a message here for uh, um, your your daughter, Princess Mabel. Oh, what message is that? Um, okay. Um, she 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 had an accident and then she, and died. Uh, no, 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 no. no. No, no, she didn't. She didn't die. Tell them I did not die, okay? Tell them I'm in coma. Um, stop that. She, she said I should tell you that uh, she's in a coma and she needs you urgently to come. Um, sorry, sorry. Um, stop to, Pamela, my sister. Uh, to stop Pamela, her sister, from signing the the document at the hospital, so so they don't take her out of the life support um, machine. Just hold it. Did I hear you say she told you to tell us? You, young man, are you insane? Or did you come here to play games with us? Austin, Austin, just stop, please, okay? You cannot leave now, please. You have to convince them, okay? Please. Now, look, and you have to stop talking to me. Because if you keep talking to me, you think you're going crazy. I just want you to listen to me and just say something to me. Who are you? And what have you done with my daughter? No, no, no. I, 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 my name is Austin. I didn't do anything to your daughter. She just said I should help her out of this, out of the issue. That is, that is all. Um, you know what? Yes, Austin. Just, uh, tell them that I'm here. Thank you, everybody. Can just, just speak to my mom, okay? Please. Um, she said I should. Just tell my mom that I'm here. And she can't see me, but I see her. Tell her that. If I was hearing, it's two years ago. Um, she said I should tell you she's here. She, you can't hear her or see her. Who? Mabel, the uh, princess, princess Mabel. And uh, she bought um, the, the queen her earrings. Yes. Well, well, anyway, sir, the the more we stay here, the 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 more we limit her chances of survival at the hospital right now. Please. You, you, need to hurry. you need to hurry and come to the hospital to stop Pamela from. I'm taking her. I'll, I'll die. They'll lose the daughter. From stopping Pamela from signing the uh, document. If not, the hospital authorities are going to take off the life support, support machine. <laughs> this is strange. You don't stop me, Mabel. I'm getting out of. Austin! Austin! Oh, no, no. This is strange. Oh, Mom. Mom, look, I just need you. I need you to concentrate. Just concentrate. You will hear me. You, you carry me in your woman. I want you. must hear me. Just concentrate. <laughs>
How are you doing? Great. Um, um, have you got books for ghosts, spirits, and dead people? Why? Why did? Let me just shut up. Let me just suck this up. What's, what's wrong with you? Never mind. Just, just should I have what you've got? Okay, fine. Um, we don't have books in that book. We have movies. Okay. Um, yeah, this this is titled The Ghosts. Oh, oh, okay. It's actually a movie on um, a man who was killed by his uncle. So his spirit came back trying to communicate to the wife and the two kids. But because he's a ghost, he couldn't communicate to them. So he finally met a woman who could understand that he was not there. So through her, he was able to get out to us. Keep listening to him. I am not dead. Can't you hear me? Just shut up. Please. Let me just sort this out. No. Oh. So. Um, what else? What else? Okay, thank you. Fine. Um, this one is Naomi. Naomi is uh, a lady who was killed by um, the husband's friend and he, she came back and revenge her it. It's just a simple story. Okay. Well, no, 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 Nobody should gain access to a room where the body is being kept. But what happened was that one of the boys walked into the room, the room to steal from this man. And he did not only steal from the man, he shifted the body. So when this guy came back, he found it so difficult to get back to the body. He kept on running around and on the process, he was buried. So he became a spirit. So how on earth did this happen? How can it happen? You know, I, I that should we have to go. Please, let's go. Let's go. I need to get to the hospital again. Okay? Let's go right now. Yeah, I'll just I'll see you. What? We are here to see Princess Mabel. Princess Mabel? Yes. She is not a patient. She works here. Princess Mabel. Dr. Mabel. Oh, she's our daughter and she is a princess. She never mentioned that to us. Well, we can see her now. You just have to see it every time and everything else here. Why don't you just walk in there and tell her that His Royal Majesty is here? to see her. You see, young lady, there are people you don't keep waiting. And King Aloysius is one of them. Sir, it's obvious you don't have the slightest idea of the present condition of Doctor. <laughs> Doctor Mabel has been in the hospital. What? That can be true. Okay. 
that's Dr. Rufus, our MD. You have to come to the hospital. I'll take it very well. My princess. My princess. My princess. Shall we please go back to my office? You see, your daughter, Dr. Babel, was a very hard working doctor. Yes. She was she was so honorable and respectable that she gained the admiration of everyone who was subsequently promoted to head another branch of us shortly before. She got involved in a casting in auto accident. We couldn't reach you because we didn't have your contact. The only contact we had in the family was her sister's number. We saw on the fire. We told her we have been in touch. We have done everything medically possible to ensure that she rises from that bed to no avail. As a result of being in that bed, than three months, yes, we have decided to accord her the honor and respect by complying with her wish because she had always said that it wasn't right to allow patients to suffer for that long on that machine. We will have to deactivate her oxygen gas mask. <laughs> no. No, oh, that is why I will appreciate you very much if you help me to sign these papers now. No! 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 Please, 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 they are here already. We have to do something. They're gonna do it. Please do something. You can't let them do that to me. No, we could. We, we, we can just, uh, um, uh, maybe, uh,
thinks you're crazy. Henry, you have to get me out of this shit. Please, just help me. Help me. I mean, right now, as we speak, my girlfriend is in the hospital. She's in a coma. And yet the doctors want to take off the, the oxygen away from her. She's still alive. <laughs> I, I don't think you know what you're saying. You don't know what you're saying. That's what you think. You think I do not know what I'm saying. But I know exactly what I'm saying. Because she's even here with me. You see, that's why you're going to she's crazy. Hmm? So now you see spirits. Our brother's in the hospital. And her spirit is here with us now. Come on, Henry. No. It's not a problem. But this is exactly why I want you to help me. Just help me, let me get her body off that hospital first. Then I can, I can tell you the rest. Pastor, tomorrow my friend, I've come a long way. But you know what? I don't want to be a part of this because I don't believe you. Henry, you do not believe it. Okay, she's right behind you. And I would like you to do anything. Put your hands behind your back and do anything. I tell you, she's behind you. And I will tell you this. Go ahead, do it. It's a fist. Two. One. Three. Please, please come on. No. Oh, no. Yeah, please. 
Things we do for people, we yeah. care about. It's okay. Yeah, it's alright. I'm so sorry for not picking up to you the same day. Huh? I started and I said that the same day as we're supposed to be. Come on. It's okay. But, um, since Faith has brought us together, this is Austin. The special guy I told you I wanted your sister made ultimate. Are you are you two kidding me? Don't tell me Mabel was the girl you spoke to me about. Don't just tell me that. I'm sorry, Harry, but she's the This is an August visit to <laughs> yeah. what do I owe the pleasure of the visit? I hope I'm safe. <laughs> yes, you're, you're, you're safe. Yeah. Um, my friend Ruth. Oh. Ruth Harry. Hey. Hey. He's the guy we'll be looking for all this while. Oh, then I guess we're so lucky today. I should be thanking heavens, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Um, nice to meet you, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, Harry is Austin's best friend. Okay, so to say, if we have him, that means we have Austin. Uh, well, for good, yes, <laughs> but otherwise, uh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, um... <sighs> Harry. You see, the truth is, I've been looking for Austin for a while now. You know, um... I know you'd be surprised to hear me say this, but... I really hurt him so much. Yes, and I want to see him so I can apologize. That's why I've come to you. I don't know. Can you please give me his house address? Shh. She's truly sorry. Please don't just give us any excuse. Just, just give her your address. Please. Uh, well, um, the thing is, Austin might not be in a good frame of mind to see anybody. But uh, since you say you're truly sorry and you want to apologize. Yes, I am. I'm truly sorry, please. Okay, uh, what can I do? Thank you so much. Thank you. <sighs> okay, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. You can find him back. I really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs>
You should have gone. Is that part of me that told you everything about me? I don't understand any of It's like a dream that I waited for all true for it to come to pass. I loved your other half and I pray for the other half to come so that what we feel for each other can be made real. You healed me of my old wounds and only for you to give me another one. I just realized that sometimes love could be too weak to stand for people that believe in me. No blames though. No blames. It's me, Austin, the familiar stranger.
I'm sorry for everything that happened. I don't even know what happened. Everything is like a big mystery to me. I can't even remember a thing. It's like a puzzle that's just right in my face and I can't even solve it. Austin. The flowers. I just realized that love could be found in a relationship if only you understand the true meaning of love. I was infatuated at my mindset also. I've learned from my friends that love is not Trying to live a fulfilled life, we go about hurting people who do not believe in what we believe in. What matters to me is not what the people feel, but what you feel when you realize that you hurt people. Austin, please forgive me. Um, right now, I, I don't even know if it's to go. Back to my past, or oh, come here. No. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's okay. 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 Austin! <laughs> 